29. For which value of x is the function shown below undefined? Whenever you have a fraction or even a rational function, it's going to be undefined if the denominator is equal to 0. So therefore, we can say that 2x squared plus x minus 15 cannot equal 0. So let's factor this expression. To factor it, we're going to multiply the leading coefficient by the constant term. So 2 times negative 15 is negative 30. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 30, but add to the middle coefficient 1. So two numbers that multiply to 30 would be 6 and 5. Now we need to use negative 5 and positive 6 because these two numbers, they multiply to negative 30 but add to positive 1. So let's replace 1x with 6x and negative 5x. Now let's factor by grouping. In the first two terms, let's take out the GCF, which is going to be 2x. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. 6x divided by 2x is 3. In the last two terms, let's take out the GCF, which will be negative 5. Negative 5x divided by negative 5 is x. Negative 15 divided by negative 5 is positive 3. So next, we need to factor out x plus 3. And what goes in the second parentheses will be what we see here, 2x minus 5. So none of these factors must be equal to 0. So let's separate each factor. So for the first one, all we need to do is subtract both sides by 3. So x can't be 3. If it is, the function will be undefined. For the second one, we need to add 5 to both sides. And then we need to divide by 2. So x cannot be 5 over 2. So these are the values where the function is undefined. So b, I mean not b, but d is the answer. Because 5 over 2 is listed. Negative 3 is not there. Number 30. For which value of y is the function shown below undefined? So the function will be undefined once again when the denominator is equal to 0. So y minus 3 squared plus 5y minus 3 minus 14, we're going to set this to 0. So the function won't exist or will be undefined when this portion is equal to 0. So we're going to put the symbol not equal to 0. Now the way we're going to solve this is we're going to solve it by substitution. Let's substitute y minus 3 with a. So this becomes a squared plus 5 times a minus 14. So now let's factor it. We need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 14 but add to 5. So this is going to be positive 7 and negative 2. So to factor it, it's going to be a plus 7 times a minus 2. Solving for each factor, we're going to have that a can't be negative 7 and a cannot be positive 2. So now at this point, what we need to do is replace a with y minus 3. So therefore, y minus 3 cannot equal negative 7, and y minus 3 cannot equal 2. So let's add 3 to both sides. So we see that y can't be 5. Otherwise, the function will be undefined. Now this answer is not listed. For the next one, we need to add 3 to both sides. Negative 3 plus 7 is negative 4. So this is the one that we're looking for, which is answer choice A. So negative 4 will cause the function to be undefined. So that's basically it for this problem.
As you can see, it's not that bad, but you need to know how to factor by substitution.